Here's the top five neighborhoods in Livermore, California. Number five is Granada Woods. Granada Woods is super special because it has one story ranch style homes that were built in the 70s and still look like they are brand new. Homes here in Granada Woods are custom built back in the 70s. You'll find homes ranging from 1,800 square feet of living space to 3,400 square feet. And they're all single level homes, unless they've been added onto. And the lot sizes are as big as 18,000 square feet. What is so special here is that they are all sprawling ranch style homes that give you that 70s nostalgia, all very well maintained, some to a T while keeping their 70s feel and look. Granada Woods is located in the Sunset neighborhood of South Livermore and is only five minute walk to Mendenhall Middle School and about a 10 minute walk to Granada High. Both are top rated award winning schools. It is super convenient to get to major arteries into the Bay Area from Granada Woods using 84, 580, and 680. If you're looking for that 70s style feel of big sprawling one story home on big lots, then Granada Woods might be where you should look. Number four on the list is Sage, built by Shea Homes. Sage offers townhouse condo living in a very modern style floor plans that offer a lot for modern day living. It also has a ton of amenities. Here you'll find two bedroom condos to all the way to four bedrooms, all built in 2016 to 2018. The amenities here include a clubhouse, a gym, playground, pool spa, barbecue, and a bocce ball. And what I hear from the neighbors is that they get together quite a bit, making this a great place to gather. So if you're looking for a place that has a great community feel, modern day floor plans, and a quick access to 580, then Sage might be your place. Number three is the cluster of newly built homes. That stretch of land was purchased by many different builders that started building here in 2013. And on that includes neighborhoods like Christopher Ranch, Prima, Alden Lane, Los Olivios, The Oaks, Tapestry, Fallbrook, Ponderosa Landing, and Siviano and they are all nestled within each other and stretching from Isabel to Tesla off of King Cannon. They are all walking distance to parks, private reserves, wineries, and great schools. All of these neighborhoods have large homes. Most of them are two-story, but you'll find some one-story every now and then. They range from 2,500 square feet all the way up to 5,000 square feet. And lot sizes could be as big as a half an acre. So if you're looking for a luxurious grand home on a big lot so you can enjoy that indoor and outdoor living, then any of these neighborhoods would be great to check out. Number two is Vinsanto. If you like beauty and convenience, then this neighborhood is amazing. Located within walking distance to top-rated schools, award-winning wineries, and the downtown, Vinsanto has an amazing location. You'll find craftsman-style architecture throughout the neighborhood, and homes that range from 2,500 square feet to 3,800 square feet. Lot sizes are about anywhere between 8 to 10,000 square feet, all the way up to 17,000 square feet. What's so special about Vinsanto, for one, I live here, so I'm a little biased. I also love the fact that it's located adjacent to Robertson Park that has soccer fields where a lot of teams play. And you also have the rodeo here, which once a year turns into a big festivity for our city. You're also close to downtown, all the wineries, and Arroyo Mocho Trail, which if you take a ride on a bike, you can get all the way down to Pleasanton on one end and to Concannon Winery on the other end. Number one neighborhood is Citrus Heights. This neighborhood is super, super, super special because every home is custom built. There aren't too many custom built homes in Livermore. They are sporadic throughout our city, but on Crystal Heights, which happens to be a little hill, is a special one. And possibly the only one that you can possibly get views in some of the homes that are built here. These homes are built in the late 80s and 90s. 
but in little pockets you'll find some newer homes. Citrus Heights is adjacent to Tapestry, Saviano, and also close proximity to wineries, downtown, natural preserve parks like Sycamore Grove, and award-winning elementary schools and middle schools. So this definitely makes our number one spot. And that is your five top neighborhoods in Livermore. If you're looking to buy or sell or have general questions about the neighborhoods, please click on the link below. It'll take you to schedule a 15 minute chat with me and my team. Thanks so much and make sure you follow for more. Have a great day.